Hi, this is Suhas Haldipurkar. I am the medical director of Lakshmi Eye Institute, India, and I use a Earthly a Swiss Tech machine. And today I'm going to talk to you about uh, management of hard nucleus using Easy Tip with uh, 2.8 uh, millimeters. Easy Tip FACO. You know there have been a lot of modifications, but I I'm very much convinced that Easy Tip is certainly a quantum jump among various innovations that have come in FACO technology. When you deal with hard cataracts, the things that concern us all the time, one, the stress on the endothelium and the wound architecture, stress on the zonules, damage to the posterior capsule and posterior pole. When it comes to stress on the zonules, we would certainly want good visibility and pieces not flying around. And of course, when it comes to damage to posterior capsule, again, the trampolining of posterior capsule and too much of turbulence in the anterior chamber is one of the major reasons for posterior capsular damage. And when it comes to cases like high myopes or people with a deceased macula, you certainly want the chamber to be stable and all these things can be achieved with a technology like Easy FACO. When you're dealing with hard cataracts, the prerequisites that we really look for are a good purchase on the nucleus, better followability, and least of turbulence and chatter. And the advantages the easy tip gives us is the ability to use high fluidics, consistent chamber stability, intense power coupling combined with axial transmission of ultrasound energy. Let's look at this case. This is one of those hard cataracts. And if you notice, after viscoelastic is injected, a rexis is performed. And this is the easy tip 2.8. To tackle or disassemble these nuclei, you should get an excellent purchase on the nucleus. You keep your phaco tip in the center. Get a good hold on the nucleus. Use your sharp tip chopper. What you see here is a vertical chop. The fragments are held firmly with your phaco tip and with the chopper they are split into smaller and smaller pieces and once you have converted them into small pieces you start emulsifying them and once whenever you want to emulsify your phaco tip has to get occluded so turn your bevel to the side where you wish to emulsify the nuclear fragments and as you reach the final fragments sometimes it is better to lower your phaco parameters at this stage when I have last couple of fragments to be emulsified I would lower my vacuum to around 350 and my flow rate would come to around 35 cc and this is a crucial stage where you have only last two fragments but what you have to notice is the kind of stability that FACO Easy Tip offers you in this particular case. Now this is a second film. I have coined it as Pier Split and Gobble. It's a new concept. A longer tip with acute angle when placed sideways penetrates. As you can see it here, a sharp tip and a hard cataract. it can split a hard nucleus into two fragments. What it needs is you penetrate, get a good grab on the nucleus and use a blunt tip chopper. What's the importance of attacking the lens with a bevel turned sideways? The entry is directed away from the endothelium. It penetrates into the hard nucleus more efficiently. This is one of those grade 5 nucleus, the, nu the nucleus 
is split with an easy tip 2.8 and a blunt tip chopper. These cases are done with 500 vacuum and 50 cc flow rate. It is always a good habit to split it into as many pieces as possible. And now the last part that's cobble. And to do this, what I do is use one handed FACO technique. There's an excellent followability and the AC remains stable and the fragments are aspirated magnetically. There are some advantages. There's no leakage from the side pore. Only one way for the fragments to be attracted and that is to the tip. There's a better control over the handpiece. One can use the second hand to exactly turn the side piece sideways. There's ability to rotate the bevel to the side where the action is and rock steady chamber at very high parameters. So in conclusion, I would like to say that easy tip and easy FACO technology has really brought FACO to a newer level. It has made it more standardized, easier and much safer for hard cataracts in present day technology. Thank you.